fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. The most notorious outlaws on the frontier learned to fear his strength and courage, his daring and his resourcefulness. It was he more than any other man who blazed the trail for civilization and made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! That Taylor has escaped! Someone's waiting on the trail ahead! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> the laughter, the clinking of glasses noisy conversation in the cafe at Mason's Corners suddenly stopped. The roughly clad men who had crowded the bar drew back, and in the space it was cleared, two men confronted each other. One was middle-aged, heavy-jawed, and muscular. The other was in his early twenties, pale and thin. When he spoke, it was with difficulty that he kept his voice from trembling. You, you ain't got no right to say that to me, Mr. Thompson. You ain't got the right. <laughs> well, I said it. Well, you take it back. When I say a thing, young fella, I usually mean it. That being the case, it stands as is. Now, you figure on doing anything about it? Pawn me ain't crooks. No, not regular ones, I guess. I tell you... You wouldn't have the nerve. But you're just as bad as crooks. Unless you figure giving a hideout to the worst killer this state ever seen don't amount to anything. That ain't so. We never did. You're doing it right now. You just prove it. Boy, you... Look here. You gonna stand there and deny somebody ain't hiding out in your place? Well, I... (laughs) You can't deny it. Mr. Thompson, I ain't saying it's so, and I'm not saying it ain't. But even if somebody was hiding on our place, what call you got to claim he's bat tanning? That's in the district, ain't he? I don't know. And who else but bat would have to hide out? <laughs> you and your pa ain't fooling nobody, Carrie. Neither one of you earned the cash you've been spending lately. It's the pay you've been getting from bat for hiding him from the law. You don't know It's what... cash you've been taking off the coyote that killed my boy. Mr. Thompson, if you just listen to... Listen! Why, you whining, crawling skunk, don't you savvy what I'm trying to do? Don't you know I'm just waiting for you to fill your hands so I can shoot you down without it being said I drawed on a man that wouldn't fight? I, I ain't got no quarrel with you, Mr. Thompson. You miserable polecat! <laughs> now will you fight? Now will you go for that gun? Oh, wait, please. I have hit you again? <laughs> I, I won't take that from you or anybody. I don't have to. And what are you waiting for? I'll show you. <laughs> It's a masked man! Shot the gun from Mill's hand! Where'd he come from? That ain't bad, is it? Oh, don't move. What's it? Put that gun back in your holster. Oh, who? Down what this is... way, outside, quick. I can't. Hurry. What? What do you want with me? Who are you? You'll find that out later. Now I'll off this door. No, you don't, Mills. Keep away from that gun, and next time I'll aim where it'll do the most good. Yes. 
That Tanner? Wrong. You rotten dry culture? You stay where you are till you hear us right away. And after that, you'll go outside only at your own risk. Come on, folks. There they go. Get that man. It's bad Tanner, I tell you. After him. Get him. A thousand dollars for the skunk. A thousand dollars dead or alive. This your cabin? Yeah, but you ain't said why. Hold you... it. Oh, hold it, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. Hip. Uh, down with you. Look, mister. Inside before you talk. But you didn't. Go on inside. Yes. Oh, wait. Ma, here. don't ask me nothing. This fella showed up at the cafe and brought me here. And if you think I know the reason why, you're local. You're a crook. No, Kerry, I'm not. You must be. But what you think right now doesn't matter. Don't you two realize that you've been playing with fire? Paul, what's he talking about? You know as much about it as I do. I'll explain. Tonight, Paul almost got himself killed. Huh? Is that so, son? Is he telling the truth? Oh, I... You would... know it, Paul. You know you're no match for Thompson. A man who can't handle a gun any better than you can shouldn't wear one. He's just asking for trouble. Just a second. What's this about Thompson, huh? Paul, what's he mean? It wasn't nothing I could help. Thompson accused the two of you of hiding the man who murdered his son. What's that? He knows, just as everyone else knows, that you've been hiding someone you wish to keep undercover. Both of you have spent more money lately than either of you could hope to earn in a year. And Thompson knows that when Bat escaped from the penitentiary, he made the boast he'd return to this district. If he believes you've given Bat refuge, what else could you expect? That, that's crazy. Is it? And why did Thompson attempt to drive your son into a gunfight? But, but I it's don't... It's so, Pa. That's what everybody's figuring, I guess. You can see it on their faces. But I don't see what... Gary. They... Huh? Who are you hiding? Who is it you've been buying extra supplies for? We... Why, we ain't hiding nobody. But that, that's just a pack of nonsense. Uh, I don't know where such crazy notions get started. I Don't never... lie to me, Kerry. But I tell you... I have reason of I... my own for being quite sure it isn't bad. But as certainly as I'm standing here, it's someone. Well, if you think that, just search the place. You wouldn't have him here, of course. He's probably hidden somewhere back in the swamp. No, no such thing. I tell you, no. Very I... well, forget it. If you won't talk, there's no use wasting time in argument. You claim the same thing, Paul? We, we ain't lying to you, stranger. And anyhow, what's it to you? I'm after Bat. Oh. If I can capture him... He won't escape the gallows a second time. We don't know anything about him. That's the gospel truth. Perhaps not. Then why do but you keep on... there's some kind of a mystery concerning this other fellow who's hiding near here, Carrie. I will, I... I suspect that somehow it's connected with Bat. Oh, wait. And before I leave the district, I'm going to learn what that connection is. Hold on. Hi. Come back here, There's mister. No use, Pa. Come on, Silver. See? He's gone. Paul, what does he know? Do you think he knows the truth? Do you think he does? I don't guess so. But the way he talked... Paul was mostly bluff. Paul. Yeah, Paul? Did Milt Thompson really try to start a fight with you? Did he? He did, Paul. If the masked man hadn't showed up just when he did, maybe I'd have been a goner. Son, you got to stay away from Milt. Oh, I ain't afraid. Take that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, I know. If Milt drilled you or you drilled Milt, it'd be just the most awful thing that could happen. And you know why. <laughs> Thompson? I did, Travis. Come in, close the door. Something you wanted? Travis, when you come to me for a job last week, you claimed to be a handy fellow at quite a number of things. Well, uh, yeah, Mr. Thompson, I'm right handy. I can rope or toss the horse. And... Were you uh, telling me the truth when you said you'd been a civilian scout for a while with Colonel Thorpe's regiment along the border? Why, sure was. I... You should be a good man on the trail. Oh, sure, you bet. Why, lose some cattle? No, but something happened last night. Huh? Well, I reckon I'd better explain, Travis, and then you'll say me what I want. I don't know whether you've heard about it or not, being new to these parts, but just a little over a month ago, my boy Jim was killed. Oh, no, that's too bad. He was murdered. He was? Murdered, Travis, by one of the yellowest dogs that ever hit this county. Bat Tanner. 
I've uh, heard tell of the skunk. I'd sent Jim over to the county seat to collect some cattle money from a buyer. When he left town, he was carrying over $20,000 in his saddlebags. Well, he, he never showed up. No. He's never been found to this day. Huh? Well, then how do, do you... Do I know Bat killed him? Because a man from Yellow Medicine happened to see it from a distance when Bat held Jim up on the trail. Oh. This fellow seen Jim and Bat fighting. He rode to help, but... Well, there was a stream between them, and by the time he found a place to cross it, they disappeared. Well, doggone. Bat must have had time to get rid of Jim somehow. That part of the country's pretty broken up. Would have been hard, I reckon. Then he hid the gold and lit out. Hid the gold? Well, it weren't on him when he was caught. Oh, he was caught, was he? You're not here across the state line. Oh. On another charge. The one he was tried and sent to jail on. I guess he was wanted by the law from one end of the West to the other. Yeah, I heard that, too. Anyhow, as long as we couldn't find where Jim was, it wouldn't have done any good to bring Bat back and try him here. To prove a murder, you got to show the fellow was killed. Uh-huh. He was slated to hang anyhow. There's another killing he was arrested for. He was just waiting in jail till the day set by the judge for him to swing. Only he didn't wait. He busted out. That was about two weeks ago. You mean he got clean away? Yeah. And nobody at all's got any notion where he is? I have. You have? I said something happened last night. Well, last night a masked man showed up at the cafe. That's so. And that masked man was Bat Tanner. Well, I'll be... Then you know the polecat by sight, huh? Well, well, no, I don't. Nobody around here did for that matter. Then just so happened that fellow from Yellow Medicine was riding through. Bat could have killed my boy never been suspicioned. Oh. Oh, I see. But that mask, hombre, was bad, all right, Travis. I ain't got a doubt of it. That's where you come in. How? I got reason to believe he's being hit by the carries over south. There's two of them. Old Zeke and Paul, his boy. Uh-huh. If he is being hit by him, it's in that swamp. Starts in back of their place. It's a big one. Runs clear back for miles. Good hideout, huh? None better. But what'd he be doing there? What would he come back to these parts for? The gold. But why don't Why he... don't he just get it in Vamoose? <laughs> he can't. When he was sitting in jail, he boasted to one of the other prisoners that he was going to bust out. Come back here and dig that gold up. The fellow he told that to passed it on to the warden. The law's looking for bad all through these parts, and he likely knows it. He's got to lay low. Yeah, I savvy. And so? That's the man I want you to find. If I trade in this fellow, Carey, or his boy? That'll be the best way. It'll be a chore. I'll make it with you a while. Or are you afraid you can't do it? Mr. Thompson? Well? If you're paying me extra for this job, you'd better draw out the cash as quick as you can. Yeah? Because it's just about mine right now. They get done it. That's Paul. That you out there, Paul? Paul, that you? Uh, uh, it's me, Paul. Where are you going? Where'd you saddle for? Paul, I reckon you know. You're going into the swamp. Paul, I've got to. It ain't safe. But he's waiting there for me, Paul. He's waiting. I ain't been able to get grub to him for almost three days. I've just got to go there. Son, you'll get caught. Oh, no, I won't, Paul. I'll be careful. Then wait till it's darker. Wait till the moon goes down. It ain't going to get no darker. But, son, I oh, know Paul, that you... you're just acting foolish. You're all the time scared to death, and somebody's going to follow me. Shucks, who's got the time to wait around just to see where I go? I don't know. Oh, forget it and go on back in the house. I'll be along before daylight. <coughs> son, I wish to thunder you wouldn't do this. You know good reason? Well, well somehow I just got a feeling you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, it's the night time, Paul. When morning comes, you'll feel different. Paul. See you later. Wait. Get up, fella. Get up there. Come on. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story, young Paul Carey rode along the treacherous trail that led to the interior of the swamp. Finally, just at midnight, he drew his mud-splashed mount to a halt. He waited for a moment, listening, then slipped from the saddle. Then gave a low call. Hi, it's me, Paul. Don't shoot, it's Paul. He was answered from the open door of a ruined shack, almost hidden by the surrounding vegetation. Paul, come ahead. Stay there, horse. Scared something had happened. Where you been? Couldn't you get here before? Better get back inside. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to wait. Just ain't been safe, though. Pa didn't think I should have come tonight, even. Knew you had to have grub, though. Yeah, here you are. It's cold stuff. You won't need a fire for. You won't need to make smoke. Oh, I've been near to starve. Yeah, that'll hold you for a while. Oh, thanks. But, Paul, huh? you say there's been danger? You don't mean anybody knows I'm hiding here, do they? Not you. Well, I... But they got a good notion somebody is. They figure it's Bat Tanner. Well, they won't find me, will they? Oh, shucks now, fella. Don't worry. Who'd locate you in here? Yeah, yeah. Pa and me were being careful. And nobody will make us talk. You'll be all right. Just don't take chances. Stay right here till it's all right for you to go out. We'll let you know when. Oh, but ain't they ever going to catch Bat again? Sure they will. Sure they will. Everything's going to be just fine. You can't stay away from the law forever. Paul, you don't know how awful it is. Hiding away in this dratted swamp day after day and night after night. Sure, fella, sure. Knowing all the time I can't show up again till Bat's been hanged. Don't think about it. How's that bullet hole? Healing all right? Well, it ain't bad. Uh, Then I'd better be getting back. Paul's worried almost local. Anything special you want for next time? You've been bringing me enough. You sure? Yeah. Oh, you've been swell, Paul. You and your pa both... I won't forget this. Oh, you'd have done the same for us. Well, good luck, fella. Thanks. Adios. Bye. Get up, boss. Come on, get up. Get up, boy. Get up. Cooped up in this blasted swamp. Hardly see the sun and damp, cold, ache all over. I wish to thunder it. Dog gone this mud. What? What, you, Paul? Paul, you coming back? Who's out there? Who is... your hands. What? Move and I'll blast you. Who are you? That's what I aim to find out about you, mister. Stand over this way where I can get a look at your face. How'd you get here? (laughs) That was easy. Just trailed the kid that was just here. Left my horse back where... Well, I'll be switched. You? I thought I'd done you in. Then... Then you're Bat Tanner. Didn't you recognize me? It was so dark, I... Well, this ain't a good one. No, what do you want? What are you going to do? My gosh, I never figured on anything like this when I hired out to find you. Hired out? <laughs> sure. The fellow I'm working for seemed to want to know who it was them carries was fetching grub to in here. <laughs> and the best thing of all, huh? he figured you was me. I will. Now stand right where you are. Don't move one doggone inch. And what are you going to... I'm going to tie and gag you. You're taking me out? You're going to make me leave here? Oh, no. Well, then what are you... tied up and fixed so you can't yell out... I'm leaving you here and riding back. What for? <laughs> then I'll tell this fellow I'm working for where you are. And he can finish you off himself. Who? Who is he? <laughs> Can't you guess, kid? Well, I don't He's know. a gent that goes by the name of Milt Thompson. Oh, no! Mr. Thompson. I located him for you, all right. Where is he? In the swamp, like you figured. And he's... Bat Tanner. A dirty killer. Travis, how can I find him? Does he know you locate him? Is he around? Boss, he don't know I was in a million miles of there. Good. I scattered paper on the trail coming back so you can get there again. Call my men. Tell every man the place to drop what he's doing and report to me. Sure, Mr. Thompson, but... But what? Well, if I was you, boss, I wouldn't fool with the fella. I heard him talking to young Carey in the shack where he's hiding. He said if he was ever found, he'd never give up. I just as soon he didn't. Yeah? I said I wanted the pool cat dead or alive. But if I had my choice, I'd rather it was dead. Men, get to the saddle. Travis here located Bat Tanner. We're going after the skunk. Ready? Then follow me. Get up there, boy. Get up. Oh, 
who are those fellas stopping outside? Where they look like? Mel Thompson. But what is he want? Come on, boys. Pete, you and Shorty stay here to guard him. All right. Well, Mr. Thompson, what do you think you're doing? We found Bat Tanner's hideout. No. And you're... the day's just finished. Oh, no, wait. You don't savvy. That fella in there. One word out of you and I'll blast your head off. But you don't savvy. Wait. Just listen. Come on, fellas. Right. Come back. Come back here, Mr. Thompson. Wait. You don't know what you're doing. Come back. Come back. <laughs> The man Milt Thompson knew as Travis did not return with the rancher to the swamp. As soon as Thompson and his men had left, he went to the corrals, saddled a powerful gray, and headed westward. He didn't know that the Lone Ranger had been watching the ranch house and had been waiting for just such a move. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. It's Bat Tanner, all right, old boy. He trapped himself the minute he saddled that gray. Old fellow, we'll see what he's up to. Hurry, Silver. Hurry. But in the meantime, following the scattered scraps of paper that marked the trail, Thompson and his men drew closer to the shack. It was late in the morning and a bright sun shone overhead, but little of its light penetrated the swamp. The men rode two abreast, and at the head of the column, Milt Thompson spoke quietly to the man at his side. According to what Travis said, we ought to be almost there. Why didn't he come along? Too tired. He was up the last 30 hours. Uh, What's that there? Huh? See? like a kind of little clearing. Can you make it out? Yeah, it does look like one. If it is, it's... shack supposed to be in it? Just the other side. Travis said it weren't easy to see. Too well hid. Maybe we better pull up. You think so? Hold it, fellas. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now, on. We'll get closer on foot. <laughs> Come on. Want the place surrounded before we let him know we're here? Yeah, no need. Just get the clearing covered and we've got him. What if he ducks out back? He can't. Well, that bag through there ain't nothing but quicksand. You wouldn't get five rods. Yeah, yeah this is close enough. Scatter a bit, men. All right, then. You, Dade. When you're all set, let me know. And I'll call out. Right. All set, boss. Bat! Bat Tanner! We know you're in there, Pat. Answer up. Won't we'll talk, eh? Well, listen to this. I got a dozen men here. You ain't got a chance. Walk out of there with your hands over your head in just one minute, or we'll blast you in that shack right out of the swamp. Inside the shack, Jim lay on the floor. His feet and hands were securely bound. A bandana had been drawn across his mouth to stifle his outcries. He heard the threats of those who waited but could make no reply. Outside, Milt Thompson held two loaded guns ready for action. Bat, this is your last chance. I've given you more time than I said I would already. Come out of there. Come out or we'll pour so much lead in there we'll rip it apart. Coming, Bat? Well, then, take it. Fellas, let the skunk have it. Wait, boss, wait. Eh, what? I thought I heard something just then. Listen. Somebody's riding this way. Boss, you better wait to see who it is. I'll wait. But if it's the sheriff heard what we're doing and wants to take Bat himself, he can go to Thunder. Bat killed Jim, and I'm paying him back myself. He's closer. That don't sound like the sheriff's voice to me. And who is it? There he is. You can see him. He's riding double. He's got somebody in the saddle with him. Out of the way! It's a masked man. Hey, maybe that's Bat himself. Maybe he's... And that's Travis with him. Travis. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! You'll get Travis. Put down his gun. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Travis! This man is Bat Tanner. Get down. Don't believe him, Mr. Thompson. Don't believe him. He's I'll lying. Soon prove it. Hey, come back. There's somebody in there. Stop that man. Hold your fire, Thompson. Or you'll shoot your own son. Oh, oh, come in here and look. Boss, what's he talking about? Yeah, keep him covered. I'll soon find out. Come on, men. Oh. Jim. Jim, my son. See this bandana? I just took it off. Jim was gagged with it. That's why I couldn't let you know who but, he was. But, son, we... We thought you was dead, we... Paul, I... I had to let you think that. I Better just... let me explain, Jim. Thompson, huh? I made Bat confess everything. When he escaped from jail, he headed at once for this section. He hired out to you under the name of Travis. He knew that you didn't know him by sight. That the law would never look for him in the employ of the very man whose son he was supposed to have killed. You knew Travis was Bat Tanner all the time? I had suspected him, but I wasn't sure until I saw him riding his gray. The gray is his own personal horse. I'd seen it before, 
But while he worked for you, he rode the horses you furnished. Oh, but I wait. Can't... He was heading for the place he'd hid the gold, knowing that when you learned you'd had your son shot, thinking him bat, the game would be up. He had to risk leaving the district. Yeah, but Jim, why didn't my son let me know he was living? But Bat hadn't killed him. Bat explained that also. Jim got in a gambling scrape. It seemed to him worse than it was. And Bat, learning about it, tried to blackmail him on the day he met your son with the cattle money. And Jim refused to be blackmailed, and they fought. Bat thought he'd finished Jim. Instead, Jim made his way to the Carries, and with their help, hid out here in the swamp. Yeah, but, but why? Because Jim hoped that as long as Bat thought him dead, he'd keep silent about that scrape, having nothing to gain by talking. Then, when Bat had been hanged, Jim could show up and the story would never come out. But Bat's escape complicated things. Well, I'll be... Paul, I've... I paid for that trouble I got in a thousand times over. Trouble? You're the dickens with it. Son, I'm so all fired glad to see you alive again. I don't care what you've done. Thompson, you'll find your cattle money at your home. I let Bat dig it up, then captured him and took the money back. Masked man, I don't know who you are, but... But if it hadn't been for you, with, with us all set to blast this shack... Forget it, Thompson. But there's something else you'd better remember. Eh? Paul Carey and his father. What? Jumping G. Hoss have had them carries. I tried to get Paul in a gunfight. And all the time he was helping my son. Ha! Oh, you ain't done nothing to him, have you? Oh, they're all right. But, son, we better get back and thank him for all we owe him. Come on. Hello, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.